Cypress Space Drone? S-70 Hunter can reach outer space. Russia's S-70 Okotnik unmanned combat aerial vehicle, which can also operate as a wingman for the Su-57 fighter, is artificial intelligence enabled and can reach outer space if equipped with a suitable engine. The S-70 Okotnik is powered by an AL-31 turbojet engine and is expected to fly at a speed of 1,000 km per hour and a range of 6,000 km. It was equipped with electro-optical targeting, radio, and other types of reconnaissance equipment, with an internal bay carrying a weapons payload of 2.8 tons. In addition to low visibility and supersonic speed, it can reach great heights in the future. However, it depends on the engine that still needs to be built, according to experts. The expert also directly hinted at the intended mission profile of the Su-57, Okotnik, and their loyal wingman slash unmanned partnership. The Su-57 can control a swarm of Okotnik drones, and this combination opens up great opportunities for completing strategic combat missions. The Hunter is made in the same way as the Su-57. The Su-57 aircraft completed its combat mission and returned unnoticed, added the expert. This suggests that the Su-57 and the Okotnik team will destroy strategic targets or ease the way for large bombers such as the Tupolev Tu-160, Tu-22 or MiG-31 which can carry KH-101 cruise missiles or Gonzal hypersonic missiles to release their payload. The drone has progressed rapidly, with the launch of the flat nozzle version in December 2021 and the announcement to enter serial production in 2023. The CEO provided the information to President Vladimir Putin. Kimzov added that new ground control posts are being developed for drones. Indicating that drones could start reaching units of the Russian Air Force in 2024. The experimental prototype made its first flight on August 3, 2019, which lasted just over 20 minutes. The 30-minute flight in a Su-57 fighter was reported months later. In December 2020, RIA Novosti said that Okotnik conducted simulated tests with an infrared and a radar-seeking air missile to test the fire control system. As for spaceflight capabilities, which can be assumed to be in the stratosphere, about 50 kilometers, U.S. military analysts say the drone removes the constraints imposed on human physiology when operating at such altitudes, 